plow the garden with the track hoe. Got my Yeti, now I'm ready. I was ready, but my Yeti doesn't fit in the cup holder, so we're gonna go ahead and put this off to the side. This is what Danny does for a living. He runs equipment all day. So he got off work today, came home, and is doing the same thing again. garden is torn up like we wanted uh, you can see all the different colors of the soil in there this front part here uh, is actually really good soil that's where the cows uh, feeder was and so that's good stuff but then if you go more this way this is some really heavy clay. It was actually pretty tough to get the bucket through at times. The garden is not going to be this big. It's gonna be a small portion this year just to get my footing, but I want to spend the year really working on the soil. You can see it needs some work in that. Some good compost. We're gonna run the chickens through here. I'm excited to see it all torn up. I'm gonna to have to till it still and then rake it so we can get these clumps down real nice and fine but phase one is complete before we lose the daylight he is going to well, he is taking these stumps up for the orchard we're trying to get it all done tonight so that tomorrow's focus can really just be basement we'll see how much we get up Probably be wrapping it up here. The lights 
on the machine have come on. He has gotten the bulk majority out. He's trying to clean it all up now. We have a few more up in here that are gonna come out and this tree. We actually like this tree, but it's kind of right in the middle of the orchard, so it's gotta go. It is so muddy again. Danny worked yesterday into the evening after it got dark. He kept out here a little bit longer with the lights on the machine. I wanna show you uh, what it looks like today in the daylight. This is the back portion with all of the stumps out of the back. I think it looks really good. We're going to put more trees back in there and then the grass will come back through and it should look really nice and pretty. So excited to plant more of our fruit trees and then of course for the grass to all come back. Yeah, you did a great job. Look at my poor yard, guys. This always happens when we get equipment. It's unavoidable. Unavoidable. You know, I've said this before in one of my videos, but it can be really hard for me at times to see uh, the mess, this mud, this muck. Uh, it can be really hard because, you know, I remember how beautiful it was and lush and, and how pretty it was to me. When we come in with equipment to do any kind of progress or to do anything new, you know, it always destroys that beauty. And then it takes time for it to come back. You know, telling yourself that progress is messy. It's messy. It's really, really messy. It ends up being really beautiful. And so the mess that we have to deal with right now is only temporary. And now we can focus our attention more on building the house and getting the footers in our basement set up and ready to go for the next step in that process as well. There's a lot going on here. We have a lot of projects all at once, but it's been great and we're really happy with how everything is going. Thank you guys for hanging out with us and we'll catch you on the next one. Welcome back now.